Two women are facing charges in separate cases of alleged child abuse. Today is Monday, July 15th, and this is 570 News on the Go, brought to you in part by NorthCentralPA.com. Sunny and hot today, a chance of thunderstorms. There is a heat advisory with temperatures in the 90s. We're learning more about the assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump in Pennsylvania's Butler County. Trump is recovering and reported to be fine. The man who died was Corey Compratori, a former fire chief who was shot and killed trying to protect his family. Two others who were injured are recovering at the hospital. The alleged gunman is a 20-year-old registered Republican who was a dietary aide at a nursing home. He was shot and killed by the Secret Service. Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro has ordered all American and Pennsylvania flags to be flown at half-staff to honor Compatory. A Sunbury woman was arrested on involuntary manslaughter charges over the weekend for the death of her one-year-old. 42-year-old Amanda Walton allegedly used suboxone, then fell asleep on the couch with the baby. The unresponsive child was found the next morning in the corner of the couch with her head under a pillow. Walton is jailed. A Jersey Shore woman is held for court on eight counts of endangering the welfare of a child. 24-year-old Jeanette Hunsberger is accused of physically abusing a five-year-old nonverbal autistic foster child in her home. Police learned of the alleged abuse through a child line report that indicated a photo of an adult-sized handprint on the child's thigh that was raised and almost welded. A magistrate dismissed three counts of endangering the welfare of a child but held Hunsberger on the eight other charges. A trial date has not been set. 62-year-old John Zimmerman of Lycoming County's Armstrong Township is facing numerous charges related to the killing of a black bear on his property. Last month, he called the Game Commission Central Dispatch Center to report a bear went after his dog, so he shot and killed it. He called several more times to report he had taken care of a mother bear and two cubs and chased them with his four-wheeler. Officers executed a search warrant and found weapons, drug paraphernalia, along with pelts and hides from various animals, even though there was no record of Zimmerman holding a license for those animals. Zimmerman resisted attempts to take him into custody, and it took the force of three officers to handcuff him. Zimmerman remains free on bail. An iconic Williamsport home is once again being repurposed. The Roundhouse at 555 Campbell Street will soon be a convenience store. The property that sits at the corner of Memorial Avenue and Campbell Street will have five parking spaces and will sell milk, eggs, and other items. The Roundhouse, which was built in 1960, was originally a home, but through the years had housed several businesses. And more than 200 people attended a candlelight vigil at the Hughesville High School for 17-year-old Mays Bittler, who died on July 4th. The recent high school graduate passed away when the plane she was piloting crashed into a wooded area as it was approaching the William T. Piper Airport in Lock Haven. The candlelight vigil ended with the launching of a Chinese lantern, which had been signed by some people at the event. For the latest in news and events, head on over to northcentralpa.com. I'm Liz Brady, and you're up to date with 570 News on the Go.